What's up, my YouTube fam? Y'all want to know how to make the best tasting sandwich in the United States of America for cheap? Stay tuned. Hey, my YouTube fam. I just wanted to chime in just to show you guys like a quick, delicious sandwich recipe real quick real simple cheap ingredients so I am going to get right into it because I don't want this video to be too long so I'm gonna start off with some butter just regular butter okay we're gonna put a couple of chunks in here and I'm just gonna get this nice and melty you guys will love this sandwich. This is, add a little bit more butter. I'm making chopped burgers tonight. Chopped burgers tonight. And we are going to start with sauteing our onion. We got some regular onion right there, regular white onion. Regular white onion, right here, right here. Hope everyone out there is doing wonderful this evening. I am, I feel good today. I feel great. I don't know if it's because this is one of my favorite sandwiches to make or what is going on, but I can't complain. Complaining ain't going to do nothing. Complaining ain't going to do nothing. Okay, so we have... The onion and what I'm also gonna do right now too is add in some hot banana peppers just regular jarred hot banana peppers and I'm gonna saute these bad boys together I'm gonna saute these bad boys together and when they get nice and soft I'll be back to show you guys the next step okay my YouTube fam I'm back and my peppers and onions are just the way I want them to be. Just the way I want them to be. And what I did as I was sauteing them, I took the edge of my spatula and I was just kind of, you know, slicing up the uh, big pieces because I really didn't want them whole like that. So, okay, so, uh, boom. So, I already... Um, pre-made my ground beef and it's just regular degular ground beef that I fried up in the pan it's unseasoned it's just regular ground beef so we got our ground beef let's toss that in with the onions and the peppers toss that all in and what I'm gonna do is incorporate the meat with the onions and peppers I'm gonna try not to scrape so hard you guys I'm sorry I'm gonna try not to scrape so hard okay I just want to mix this all up together kind of chop up those big pieces that didn't break apart in the pan recipe guys that the whole family is sure to love I'm sure very affordable I had no idea what I was going to cook tonight and then in my freezer I found let me show you guys show you guys in my freezer I found some um, hero hoagie rolls a six pack that was um, nice and frozen that I haven't used yet. So I said, you know what? I'm about to put these bad boys to you. I'm about to put these bad boys to use. And I said, what kind of sub can I make? Because I don't have any lunch meat. I definitely don't feel like or don't want to go to the grocery store. I had some ground beef in there. I said, you know what? We're doing chopped burgers tonight. 
we doing some cheesy chop burger delight. Okay, so y'all. Here we go. So now we got our ground beef and our peppers and onions. Listen, you can add mushrooms. And you know what I do too that my family loves sometimes? I'll chop up some uh, sausages and I'll uh, even incorporate sausage in here. So good. So freaking good. Okay, so I'm going to turn my fire down a little bit. I'm going to probably turn it down to medium. Okay, so now we are about to season this up. I'm going to take the season as nice and light because I make my own hoagie sauce. And that is packed with tremendous flavor. So I'm going to use some, of course, Slap Your Mama, all purpose. All purpose Slap Your Mama. Really light with this because this stuff here, it is salty. You do not, a little goes a long way. But you know, ground beef takes a lot to like get flavored up. I don't know what it is about like ground beef, it just takes a lot of seasoning. So I'm also going to go in with one of my favorite complete seasonings right there. Let's add in that. And this stuff is not that salty. Flavorful, not that salty. Um, lastly, I am going to go in with some black pepper. Yeah, but like I was saying, you can add... Um, here we go. You can add uh, mushrooms, um, whatever you like in this. Whatever you like. So let's give this a nice toss. And when you make the sandwich up, you can put um, like lettuce and tomato and mayo on the bread if you like to eat it like that. Or if you're just like, if you just want that meat, that sauce and that cheese. Make it hoagie style. So, real quick, real quick. It's so quick. I love quick, simple, but yet delicious recipes. I swear I do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, try not to strip y'all ear off, because that is an annoying sound. Um, what I'm going to do now is taste this ground beef. I just want to make sure I got it mixed nice and well. Yep, I'm making a mess. It's all good, though. Because if you ain't making a mess, you ain't cooking. You're not cooking if you're not making a mess. I don't care what they done told you. Okay, so let's taste our ground beef. And just make sure that's to our liking. Perfect. Perfect. Now we are going to incorporate our house made hoagie sauce, which is right here. I probably will, I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. I'm gonna keep it real though. I probably will never get this recipe out. Probably not. I probably won't. It got, I. No, I ain't ready. I ain't ready for that yet. So listen, we will go in just like this with our hoagie sauce. And I'm going to save a little bit to drizzle on top. I don't want to use it all right now. Okay. So we went in with that. And... You can use whatever kind of cheese you prefer. Um, tonight, I am going to be using um, Velveeta because these are chopped burgers and I just want that creamy, cheesy, like cheeseburger feel. When I bite into it, I mean, you could go with, um, I, listen, I, if, if, okay, if you don't want to use like Velveeta cheese, just stick to like a regular American cheese. Don't OD and do something fancy because with subs, it just seemed like the, the simpler the cheese, the better. Especially when it comes to like hoagies and stuff. Let me wash my hands real quick. So, 
But if I, if I was you, I would definitely keep it nice and simple with the cheese. That American cheese just goes great with it. Or Velveeta. This is the Velveeta I'm using, y'all. I'm using this. Just regular Velveeta. So now, I'm going to let my cheese melt all through the ground beef. I'm going to let the sauce marry with the meat. I'm just going to let everything marry. Everything is everything is about to marry. And I'm going to turn the fire down to low until the cheese is nice and melty just the way I want it. So when I come back, you guys, this chop burger is going to be complete. It's going to be complete, and I'm going to show you guys the finished product. And like I said, this was so easy, so affordable. I got that six-pack of hoagie rolls. Um, like I said, I found those in my freezer because when bread is on sale, I like to buy it and freeze it. Um, so you got the hoagie rolls, which you can find for anywhere between $2.99 to $4.99. And then you got the ground beef, which is also affordable. You know, uh, cook you up some ground beef, and if you got American cheese in your free in your uh, refrigerator, use that. Chop up some peppers, chop up some onions, get your seasoning game right. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the seasoning. It's all about the seasoning. I'm telling you, it's all about the seasoning. So let me get this nice and melted and ooey gooey looey. And we'll be back, y'all, to show y'all the finished sub. Okay, YouTube fam, here is the finished product. Beautiful, cheesy, delicious. I cannot make this stuff up. I'm telling you. A must try. Delicious. Beautiful. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. And guys, do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can know each and every time your girl is chefing it up. I would highly appreciate it. Everybody, as always, stay safe and stay blessed.